Welcome back. Robert Pincus was considering selling its over 50% stake in WNS, but eventually said a no. Why? Well, clearly, Warvis thinks there is room for creating more value, so when it eventually cashes out, it gets an attractive price. And how is this exercise progressing? Tohina Pandey takes stock. It is the second largest BPO based out of India. No wonder suitors find it an attractive buyout proposition. But constant on the block image does hamper client confidence and not having a CEO only multiplies the problem. Anup Gupta, who is currently in driver's seat, differs. If you look at our client win rate, it actually was uh, probably the highest in the period when, when all this news was going on. What people appreciate is transparency uh, on, on, uh, on these matters. We were upfront on what was happening, uh, that we are going to see a CEO transition and that process is underway. One of the areas Street has been watching about WNS is its debt position of $200 million for Aviva's acquisition. Management says the cash flow is good and there is in fact room for more tuck-in acquisitions in spaces like insurance and travel. Let's take a $5 million number on the lower side. Over a six-month period, we generate about $30 million of free cash. Our debt uh, payment uh, is $20 million for the six months leaves us with a 50% cushion. We are dead and at some point of time, if something, if something uh, compelling comes up, we will take a look. Uh, but uh... Warburg is a seasoned investor. It will not exit WNS cheap. With recovery in sight, it's standing squarely behind the management to expand globally and see through management transition right at the top. Beef up valuations for exit in better times at a better price. In Mumbai, Tuhina Pandey for NDTV.